in this section we are gonna deal with 2d plot so if you come to or if you launch your zegma plot interface or software and you head over to create graph section if you can see create graph you can come to the ribbon and then you can also go to configurations and choose default or graphing to show the graphing right so once you come in here to the graph you see so many different types of graph we'll go through all of them but in this lecture we want to start with scatter plot to begin that we need some set of data so i have already keyed in something here so let's go ahead and edit this and call it scatter and then maybe we should call the section class okay so we have our scatter over here now let's also call this maybe my x okay and then let's call this one okay so now we have renamed all of this so you have these columns the nice thing about sigma plot is unlike other stuff other softwares like let's say origin which i have a class on udemy on you don't have to let's say come and set this as your x set this, set this as your y it deals with the columns over here so anytime you want to plot you are dealing with different columns so let's begin so to do scatter plot there are about 17 inbuilt templates for you so you have for instance simple scatter and it gives you a brief it says plot a single set of x and y pairs so you have about 17 different types to make it easy for you you can also start with graph wizard so once you click on the graph wizard it gives you okay so it's kind of like an interactive software so whatever that you choose over here it says graph type so we have scatter plot so once you choose scatter plot it tells you plot data of x y point using symbols so whatever that you have you can do that then you can go to next it says graph style so now you've come into your scatter plot but what are the types that we have just like we saw over here all of them are listed here so you can have the first one is simple scatter which is the same as this one so plot a single so you can choose and as you choose you can see the difference so you have let's say plot a single set of x y pairs with a regression line then you have multiple regression which is um you have multiple set of x y pairs with regression line so this these are all under scatter plot so although you have one scatter plot you have about 17 different graph styles that you can choose and that is something so cool to do so let's let's just begin by selecting a simple scatter and you just go to next so it tells you how is your data organized so do you have um one x column one y is that what you want to plot or that's if you choose x y pair or if you want a single y one y column x data are assumed so if you want to just maybe plot this column as your y and sigma plot will assume the x and give it maybe an increasing order of plot you can also use that and the same for x so let's just go with a pair so once you go with a pair now it brings you this so now you have to select your columns so when you come in you have let's say it says data for x which column should be your x so let's select column one or our x okay now you have your column one here now we want this one to be our y so 
you see y is highlighted if for some reason you want to change x again you can come in and double click and you can choose that then y is highlighted so now we can choose this one so now we have our x y values and then you head over to finish so it gives you this plot and it, the plot goes into a different tab and then you have the plot also labeled here for you so that is the very simple way of making a plot or a scatter plot and you have these things we will learn about how to customize plots in the next section so stay tight but that is basically how you custom how you make plot now once you make a plot okay um you have your graph attached over here if you want to make another plot and still keep this one you don't have to go in and just plot so let's let's just make an example let's say we want to plot this again so let's head over to scatter this time let's just make a simple plot again now let's do it with a single y next and let's choose this one so you see it's just add the two together it adds the two together let's undo it just ctrl z or you can also use this tab now we have our one if you want to have multiple plots in different windows so all you have to do is just come in just right click go to new and now you should see a graph page so now if you have a graph page so do you want to create a new graph page yes now it also brings up a pop-up for you if you bring in a new graph so you see the new graph attached and you can now start your plot so this is your first one that we have we can rename it as let's say simple and then our next one can also be renamed which is this one so that is how you you do that so let's try something else we can come to this graph page for instance and just or sometimes it's nice to come to your data set so you can see it come over here and let's try simple scatter regression so with this one it adds a regression line to it for you in your scattered plot so you can come in choose let's say a pair of x y next and then you can choose your x as your one and then back yeah pair okay next and then your y should be your two I have it the same so this should be this and then this one should be this one okay so finish so it adds a regression line for you as well and it gives you the legion it says this versus this and then it gives you the regression so you can you will learn how to edit these as well so but you can come in and let's say if you don't need it anymore you can hide the regression line so let's rename this as regression so let's create another one which is new and then let's go to graph page and yes so it brings up this and we can go to scatter and now from from scatter we did simple regression let's let's just use this so we have multiple scatter so multiple scatter is plot multiple set of x and y so once you select it it brings you up here and from here it says how do you want your data format do you want x y pairs so let's say if i have um x y x y x y that is what you have to select do you want x and many y so if let's say you have if you have a lot of plots where you have one x and different y's this is what you select if you want y so just one y value 
let's say one y value and the same egg or different x you you can also have that if you don't want to put any x axis but you have just y's that you want to plot you can do that and you can also do category plots so that can also be done so that is like kind of um let's just read one it says an x y column pair and a category grouping value column so you have like category grouping so you have names and all those stuff over there so we have um one x and two y's right that's what i have here so let's just do x and many y and let's select our x so our x becomes my x and then our first y should become our two and our next y becomes a three so if you have more y's you can just keep selecting as you go by means what i've done here is i've labeled this as my x i've labeled this as my y i've labeled this as my y so i can go in to finish and you have multiple here and you have your legion so with your legion you can always have the first one is this and then the second one is this one so that is how you make multiple and that is something useful i like the way it's quite interactive so you can always let's say let's go back again you can always choose and see how interactive it is so you have like um multiple regression which is the same as we did for simple but you are gonna have um lines in your multiple plot as well so it's quite interesting what you can do with this